Where's the camera? Uh, just right there. Sorry, it's a teleprompter, so it's kind of hard okay. to read. But yeah, it's where all that junk kind of is words. happening. Uh, okay, my name is Rob Fawcett, the executive director of the Victoria International Cycling Festival, and we're coming up with Jeff and Paul tonight on Game On. On Game on. Yeah. Nice. Nice. My name's Seamus McGrath, and I'm a two-time Olympian, and I look way better in spandex than Jeff and Paul. Boo! <laughs> Boo! Shame on! Yeah. Hey, I'm Rob Fawcett, Executive Director of the Victoria International Cycling Festival. And I'm Seamus McGrath, Director of the uh, Ryder Heschadol Tour de Victoria. And we're coming up tonight on... Game, Game On! on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Game On! Tonight, don't count them out, the Salmon Kings cook the condors in round one. Strength in numbers, we talk pack riding and preparation for the Tour de Victoria. And you'll be dancing, cause it's Paul's birthday. Get out of your seat, it's game on. Game On is brought to you by Jenner Chevrolet Buick GMC. Here for you and in your community on the Old Island Highway. Game On's Sports Cage is brought to you by Country Grocer. You'll feel like family. Welcome back to Game On. You're on the Sports Cage. Jeff and Paul welcoming a couple special guests tonight. Rob Fawcett, the Executive Director of the Victoria International Cycling Festival, and Seamus McGrath, who is the Director of the Ryder Hejdal Tour de Victoria. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. And by the way, folks, don't adjust your set. Paul and I actually are wearing pants, but these two are in spandex. <laughs> spandex. Here, so. Shame, well, I can't believe looks you. Looks fantastic. I don't know fellas. why you're doing Let that. Let me tell you, that looks great. <laughs> First of all, let's start why why we're here, why we're doing this, why the cycling festival. Rob, we'll start with you. Um, just because we live in the, the best cycling city in Canada, and it's just on, on, on every level, there's so much of appreciation for cycling that uh, it's never really been brought out to, to basically turned into a party, and that's what we're, we're trying to do over those three weeks. So. Yeah, and a lot of people look at it, you know, when they think, think cycling in our area, they think mountain biking, and they think road biking, but it's so much bigger and broader than that. Oh yeah, or even just within those categories like John Webster who we saw out at the, uh, the press conference, the top trials rider right. in, in Canada, uh, seventh in the world last year at the World Championship with Local Kid and uh, what he can do on a bike doesn't really fit into any category yeah. really. I mean it's called trials but it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, another new event for the festival is the Dallas Road Time Trial. Yes, yeah, let's talk about that. So, uh, you know, guys like Paul in their full spandex speed <laughs> suits. Yeah, yeah, and the teardrop <laughs> helmet. Teardrop helmet. Yeah. <laughs> and actually crying as well. Yeah, probably. definitely. <laughs> and we're talking like guys going 60. Oh, yeah, uh, you know, on the, this kind of course along Dallas Road, they'll be able to hit that kind of speed. And, uh, you know, it's just a flat out effort. It's, it's, um, a timed event, so uh, I think it's seven k's long. So really? as as hard and as fast as you can go, and and these bikes are specialized. They're full on time trial bikes with disc wheels and aerodynamic equipment. And bike polo, that's another thing. <laughs> bike that, polo. Uh, yeah. You tried that one, Shamo? I tried, tried that one. <laughs> <No>. Yes. <laughs> we'll get you yes. on that. Tell us about the bike polo because it's going to be a whole tournament going on here, and it is. You yeah. know, we have some footage of it. It, it is just that polo. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like we, you know, we mentioned these these really strong communities. We have a really, really strong bike polo community. Some of the best bike polo players in the world are on in the Pacific Northwest and uh, Vancouver, Seattle, and we're right at the epicenter. So, when this uh, when it came out that this is going to be a part of the festival and a big part of it, we have teams from San Francisco, teams from Saskatchewan signed up. So it, it's going to be a lot of fun. And three on three. I mean, as a, as a Canadians, we understand hockey. It's it's basically like a similar sort of concept, three on three, but you're on your bike and it's, uh, you have Full to Full contact then, or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're slashing, there'll be some cross-checking. There's definitely heckling, for sure. Yeah. Heckling, yeah. And uh, Shamo, I guess uh, one of the big, the marquee event there, the uh, Victoria uh, Ryder Hedgedal Tour de Victoria. I mean, lots of different events to choose from, but uh, you know, how's everything going in preparation for that? So it's getting 55 days away. <laughs> it's good. Um, it's coming up close. We, we just announced uh, Good Life as the sponsor of our community ride. Right. So so, um, you know, welcoming cyclists to come on out if you're, uh, if you're scared to ride in traffic, just to come out and ride on a closed course. Um, young people, the elderly, families, it's just about um, welcoming everyone, something for everyone. Uh, 90K uh, led by Simon Whitfield um, and the 140K led by Ryder. So, uh, you know, if, if you want to ride for 10K or if you want to ride for 140K. Out. And that's yeah, you know, that's something that people don't really realize. I think that you know when people think about this event, and you just say the word name Ryder Hejdal, they think of elitist, and that's not what this is about at all. 
No, the, the, the concept behind it is to uh, show people the beauty of the cycling that we have here and show them an experience uh, similar to what Ryder would get when he's riding in Europe. Right. Um, just, just to show people the world-class nature of the cycling in Victoria. And what's pretty cool, I mean, he's going to be going to, to race in the Tour de France a few a week or so after this event takes place that's pretty amazing i mean that's like training with some of the best hockey players before going to the playoffs like it, this is this is pretty cool exactly uh, nowhere else in the world can in a professional sport can you actually train with the pros and here's a chance uh, right. to, to train with Ryder as he's getting ready for the tour de france i want to talk about jump ship because uh, this yeah. let's just, you know maybe describe this we have shown a, a story on but describe what it's all about and the level of athletes coming into town for this and this is a unique event because it's going to be in the inner harbor it's sort of like bringing uh, you know bringing north vancouver to the inner the inner harbor victoria's inner harbor which is a pretty unique experience and we're going to get people from all over the world coming just to watch it yeah, and mm -hmm. people need to <clears throat> excuse me realize that you know much like symphony splash that's what it is you're actually yeah. hauling this barge in and <laughs> you know people can you know and how many pounds of dirt are we bringing in here i think we got two thousand so wow. yeah. yeah yeah and yeah. so they bring in the, the barge in and you're going to be not far away from seeing guys doing some pretty gnarly things well i mean it's also just the level of athletes we have here for instance because yeah. they are the two directors, uh, the Jordy Lunn is right. a local island boy, world famous free rider, and the other director is uh, Jeff Pendrell, the national downhill coach. Yeah. So I mean, th these guys, you know, they're inviting their friends. Basically, they know these people who are the top riders in the Bear world. Bearclaw. 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 Yeah. Tell us about Bearclaw, island boy. Up yeah, island another, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's been doing his own. He's one of the top five in the world, and uh, you know, it's uh, we've got guys from Vancouver, all Vancouver Island. It's. The, the best riders in the world, really. And it's, a, it's point related as well. Maybe explain how that works. Yeah, it's a sanctioned free ride world tour event. So it's going to be a silver level sanction. Uh, only seven of these in North America. There's $10,000 prize for this. So yeah, it's really bringing the top guys and it's there. We're going to see some uh, the top skill in the world. It's quite an unbelievable thing just to see. And this is this mm -hmm. is all free. This is all to come down and yeah. check out right in the Inner Harbor. I mean, tell people how they can get involved in just coming out and, and enjoying this. Yeah, well, that's the whole point of this is that this we're, we want to bring like really world class stuff to Victoria. And the same thing with with Ryder coming and because we have these local guys who go and do these world class things around the world. and. It's to bring it back here and, and come and check it out. It's going to be it's something you don't want to miss. And you don't have to be a bike fan to come check it out. You no, just have to you no. know, be part of the community, right? Yeah, absolutely. If you come out to watch the movie, you come out to check out the art scene. And like as we say, you come out to, to watch the top uh, free riders in the world. On, on any level, you're going to appreciate what you see. It's, it's really amazing. And Shamo, you're I mean Olympic mountain biker, but uh, you came here to, to train to start mountain biking and just decided to stay after your career was over. What, uh, what is it about this town that really so great about biking? Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, Victoria is a world-class city for cycling and that's what, we, we kind of take it for granted living here, uh, lose sight of that, but uh, being, uh, traveling around the world, uh, racing my bike all over the place, I realized that Victoria is the best place in the world to ride. Uh, overall, there's great mountain biking, there's great road cycling and everything in between, so. Cool. And like you said in the intro, you were the guy before in life that used to, <laughs> used to uh, you know, mountain biker that used to make fun of the the road guys and, and their uh, get up. Yeah, uh, pure mountain biker from the start. But, uh, you know, once you're a cyclist, you, you're a cyclist. And now I'm, I'm into all kinds of riding. Yeah. Except for trial. Are you into trials? Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I used okay, to practice I uh, when I was a young lad getting into mountain biking. We used to practice trials quite a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. A big part of it. Well, let's Sorry. recap here, boys. Let's talk uh, dates, uh, when this yeah. festival starts, and when it ends, and what's in between. How much training I got left? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> really? Well, it's over the three weekends. The uh, first weekend kicks off May 27th. Uh, Going to be a total road bike party that weekend. Yeah. The second weekend, uh, June 5th, we're going to be down at the Legislative Building having a family bike festival, classic bike rally. And then the last weekend, we're just going to take it through the roof with uh, Jump Ship and uh, the Bike Polo Tournament. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Right All on. Right, boys. Well, listen, thanks for coming in today and doing this. And we'll have you guys back in before, uh, before Paul and I try and attempt the 140K. <laughs> Was there a maximum as well? time limit? For <laughs> yeah, yes, there, the there is a time limit on it, though, isn't there, Shane? Yeah, for the controlled roads. Yeah. Um, you know, once you're outside the, uh, the group, you, you can still finish it, right. but we, we can't guarantee that the intersections will be controlled. Right. So uh, take your time. Take all day if you like. <laughs> I so will. What, what is an average time, though, for, <laughs> yeah, 140K? for 140K? What would be, people be looking at? 
Six to seven hours. Really? Yeah. That's and in doing cool. that, we need a couple of things. And, and uh, Seamus, you and I were talking just about the, you know, number of intersections that uh, need to be uh, manned and that type of thing. And really right now, and, and not just for the Tour de Victoria, but uh, the overall cycling festival, we're looking for volunteers right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a monumental task, but um, just with the people we have involved, so many passionate people uh, work, working, uh, working themselves to the bone on this one. Yeah. And uh it's just the, the, the timing's right and, and the combination of people uh, is right. So uh, we just decided to go for it and uh, it's going good. You know, the, the support we've had from the municipalities and the police has been excellent. And uh, we really hope to put on a world-class show on May 28th. The volunteers are, are, gonna, what, uh, are gonna make this event happen. Uh, so we, we really need uh, people, to, the local community to come out and support and uh, show the world uh, how great the, the community is here. And how do people do that? What do they, how do they get involved? Yeah, sign up uh, for Tour de Victoria on our website, uh, tourdevictoria.com. Thanks to Rob and to Seamus for yeah, coming in awesome. today. And that is another edition of Game On uh, right here on Czech Television. Don't forget, each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock at 10.30, right here on the Big Six, it is Game On. Game On.